Hey everybody and welcome back to the Payless Movement YouTube channel. I'm Tom Solid and today I will show you how we manage goals at the Payless Movement, but also how we help our members to set up their goal system inside ClickUp. The awesome thing about using ClickUp for your goals management is that you can interconnect everything and you don't have to manually update these goals. What this all means, we will show you in this video. So let's dive in. Paperless Movement, your productivity, your way. So you see, we see launch of website 5.0. If you're following us and if you go now to our website, paperlessmovement.com, you will see it is a complete new rebrand. It's a complete new website. And this was our goal to get accomplished in quarter two. Then release of the productivity pillar courses. So this means if you're on the website, you see now we are working on four signature courses in addition to the iCore Mastery course that we already have in place. And one is already launched, the email management course, helping you to have Inbox Zero daily. And this is already available, it's a success. And we are working right now on the digital note-taking course, a highly demanded course where we talk about everything note-taking as a business professional, meeting notes, converting it into actions, conceptual notes, and all the way up to personal knowledge management and business knowledge management. This is an exciting course that we are working on right now and later this year we will launch the task management course which will dive into the micromanagement of your work that you have to do on a daily basis and then we will have the big launch in fall where we will publish the project management course where we also dive deep into ClickUp, how you set it up perfectly. But if you subscribe to this channel and follow these videos, you will learn a lot already how to set up and our thought process behind this. So that's why I'm really excited to show you all this. And this is just to quickly explain why these three goals are here. So for example, now we see here there's one target. We click on this. And by the way, that's the new 3.0 interface that we are looking here. If you're still on 2.0, that might be a bit confusing, but as soon as you're here in the goal view, you see very familiar things. And here you see now the target, there's one target, and then we have four lists, okay? And these four lists are the four projects that I just mentioned. And this, for example, is already launched. We can click here. Now you see all the things that we have done. And we have a single source of truth because we can always go back now to this view and check out the scripts and everything that we made in here. So this means we ticked off all the boxes and this goal was completed. So we could have done separate goals for the courses, but as we really have the big goal that these four courses need to be launched in fall 2023, this is our big goal because we have a lot more courses in the planning for our paperless movement members and that's really exciting. So the question is now, how do we make this dynamic? Therefore, I will create a new goal. Just click up there and then make a test goal. Okay, just to show you how this works, hit enter. We can pick an owner. I pick myself and then who can have this? You can have this only for yourself as well or for a specific group of people. And then we say, when do we want to complete the goal? And we usually we set goals only quarterly and we are fully aware that these goals are dynamic. You never know what happens during a quarter that might make you reprioritize your goals and therefore be very flexible, but to have some goal in mind, we always pick a due date here and then you can make a short description. So we just test goal, okay, hit enter. And there we go. Now we have our test goal. And in this test goal, I can now create a target. Okay, so I give it a name, target. Then we have an owner of this target. And now we can have the type of the target. And there is where the magic happens. You can give it a normal goal, right? So this is the typical manual updates that you do in the goal management. In bigger companies, you have even your assistants up updating these KPIs manually and so on using cheat sheets and all this, but we want to have everything very dynamic. So we have goals where we just say true or false because we just want to achieve a certain state in something. Then we say, okay, true or false. But for the types that we showed you here, here is where the magic happens. So you can pick individual tasks and a list of different tasks. And if we accomplish them, then it would fill up the progress bar. But we really like to use a whole list for this. And therefore we have our projects created. Now we can select a list here and you see here now it picked the list and it will take into account all the tasks open there. So you see here, there are zero out of three tasks finished because they're all in progress. Now we can click here, we can go here and you see here it's in progress. And if we open this up, then we see the state of this list going on there. And whenever we click into one of the tasks and open up this task, you see now here 
the related goals. So you see there are two goals. When I click here, now you see release the productivity pillar courses. That's the goal that I showed you in the beginning. And now you see the newly created test goal. And the amazing thing, I click here, now I'm in the goal. Okay, I go to the list, I click here, I'm in the list. And this is what I really love about the interconnectivity inside ClickUp. And in my day job, I implemented Asana for thousands of people. And this was always one of the limitations to get the real bird's eye view easily without manual setup or anything like this. You saw, I just set up a goal, I just pick a list and now everything is running smoothly on its own. Whenever we have our weekly meeting, we easily can go here to the goals or we go to our dashboard where we have a goal management dashboard created that we then can use. And here we have the goals that we can check out. We have our agenda meeting. So that's another video where I talk about how we just have one meeting per week. But I just wanted to show you, we have always full control over our goals and we always can check. And if something comes up now as a priority, okay, we say, man, there's an idea. We have to do this. Now let's kill launch of the website 5.0 in order to follow up with a different goal. This makes it already much easier to decide on these things because imagine you're in this meeting where you make this decision. You just open the goals and you see, man, 86% is already achieved of the launch of the website. Do we really now want to stop this and not want to push the remaining 14% to get this website out and do something else? Or do you want to complete it? Then you just click there and you can zoom in and say, okay, launch of the redesign of and responsive website. Go to the list. I can click on the list and now I can quickly see what are the remaining things that we need to publish. And one of the key things is create responsive version that we are nearly have finished. And therefore I can save also the due date is tomorrow, right? So we can say, okay, we are safe. This is something we need to complete first before we start any other goal in the same quarter. So I hope this gave you a quick idea how to set up your own goal management in your ClickUp setup. If you want to discuss this, just hop over into the Payless Movement membership community Ask your questions there. A lot more about ClickUp is coming soon. And if you're not using ClickUp yet, inside our membership, you get a 30% discount for ClickUp. That's something nowhere else available on the web. So make sure to check this out and let us know the obstacles you might have and workflows that you want to discuss inside the membership. That's it for today. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends. And as I said, subscribe if you want to see more content about ClickUp. And I'll catch you up in the next video.